Hey everyone, it's Darling Danny with another brand new series. I know I've started a lot this week, but with a new start of a new YouTube channel, I want to bring a bunch of new series, see what hits, what sticks, what you guys like, and what I'll continue on with. This uh, next series is kind of, uh, well, I feel like as a new commentator, you guys don't know much about, about me, about my backstory, about, uh, uh, I'm just a guy that talks to you through videos on the internet. So, every week I'm going to bring you a video about uh, something either embarrassing or funny or stupid that happened in my past that will either make you laugh, cry, freak out, happy, or really sad. I guess you'll find out every week when you tune in. This week, our first week, is, um, well, it's very sad for me. It might be very funny for you. I'm not sure how you're going to take this. If you're a kind person, you might be sad for me as well. It's a story of romance, of heartbreak, of triumph. Well, failure with a not much triumph, I guess. Um, Alright, so we start back in fourth grade. I think fourth grade, possibly fifth grade. I went to a school called River Homelink up here in Camas, Washington in the United States. It, was a, it wasn't a public school, but it wasn't homeschooling either. It was, uh, you went to school, I think, it was about three days a week for about two hours, and then the rest of the week, you would, the rest of the week, you would be homeschooled. Um, so it's essentially homeschooling plus uh, a little bit of public school in there, a little interaction with other people, not just sitting home with mom all day. Um, what this created, though, was, I mean, essentially, a, it was a bunch of nerds in public schools. Like, if you went to high school with only the nerdy kids, who were now kings of the school. Now to continue with that, I uh, was in the chess club at this school, at River Homelink, and I know you're all laughing right now, but the chess club at River Homelink was like the football team in your high school. And if you all remember the football team in your high school, they were probably maybe the popular kids or the cooler kids or, you know, the kids with a lot of friends. I, I mean, I played football in high school, and I understand that the, f the feeling I got playing football in high school was almost the same feeling as playing on the chess team in River Homelink. I mean, we literally wore our chess shirts to school on the day we had tournaments. Okay, kind of getting off topic here, but uh, there was this girl in my River Homelink class, uh, chess class, like I said, either fourth or fifth grade, I don't exactly remember. Her name was Mallory, and she, I had a big crush on her. She was cute as shit, and she played chess with me, so I thought that was cool, because we all thought that was cool, um, but I'm sure you guys don't think that was cool. Um, she was very good at chess, and uh, I really wanted to impress her, so I would... It's probably part of the reason I joined the chess class, to be honest. I um, I would try to learn moves, special moves, the, I mean, the values of each chess piece. I would uh, try to win as many matches and practice during class. I would do essentially whatever I could chess-wise to impress this girl, Mallory. Now, um, we had we went to tournaments as a school. As I said, we wore our shirts and we, we were a team. We went to these tournaments around... Uh, around our surrounding area, Clark County, um, nearby, we'd all take a bus over there. It's, I mean, exactly like a sports team in your high school or middle school. I remember my very first tournament, this is what my story is about today, uh, my very first tournament I went to, this cute girl, Mallory, also went to along with the team and our shirts. I, um, now, just, I'm sure many of you guys don't know how these tournaments work, so I'll explain the format a little bit. There are, there are rounds in these, uh, chess tournament things. And uh, the first round, you have five games. You have to win at least three of the five to move on to the next round. Now, if you win three of the five, you get this little trophy. Uh, it's kind of a cool little badass trophy, especially when you're in fourth or fifth grade and you think you're the shit because you've got a trophy. You bring it home. In my case, show your sisters or something. You, f I mean, you feel like a badass. Or, also in my case, you show it to the pretty girl in class to make yourself look cool. And then, like I said, you move on to the next round and get better awards and all that. So, uh, we're in the first round. I had won two games and lost two games, so it's come down to my fifth game. She had already finished her fifth game, and she had won all five, so she was just on top of the world, and I was, I was on the brink of destruction, basically. I, uh, so I got my, I got my list, I got my partner for my fifth game, or not my partner, I guess my opponent for my fifth game, went, found my table in the room in this, uh, school where we were holding the tournament. I went, sat down, and I played my game with him. Uh, now, we are we are one of the longest uh, running games during this round. I remember a lot of the other kids that already left had gone back to the staging area while I was uh, sitting here still playing this game with this kid. Now, I'll be honest, most of this game I was down. I was just, this kid was just beating the shit out of me chess-wise. If you can beat the shit out of somebody in chess, he was intellectually raping me in chess. A fourth year old, a fourth grader was getting intellectually raped. Um, and I knew this was going downhill, and then the... <laughs> 
bell finally tolled and this kid struck the final blow and I I lost. I got checkmated. My fifth game was over and I I realized I'd won two out of five games, which does not equal cool trophy. Does not equal move on to the next round. Does not equal make the cute ass fourth grade, fifth grade girl be in love with you. So I remember walking back, I remember vividly in my mind walking back to the staging area where my dad was sitting there waiting for me. He had come with me to the tournament that day. Sitting down with my father and just just looking at the table, super, super sad. And I I even I even started to cry a little bit. I cry I mean it doesn't happen often to me. I'm I consider myself a bit of a badass and this is one of maybe five times I've cried in my entire life because I never cry. This is how devastated I was. I was sitting there with my dad crying at this table in the cafeteria cafeteria of a school in our seating area. I remember my dad putting his hand on me saying something like, it's alright son, it's okay, I'm sorry, it's your first tournament. I mean, you won two games, good job. Of course, I didn't give care about that at all. I mean, I'm sure you guys have had people reassure you and you're just like, fuck off, dude. I just don't talk to me. And I kind of felt that same way. I remember looking up from my table, tears in my eyes, not full out, you know, crying, but you know that teary eyed, you're looking through the, it's almost like glass, you know, the teary eyed, you're looking taking a glance there. And I looked across a couple tables away was this girl, this cute girl Mallory and her mom who had come with her that day. And this girl Mallory was sitting there staring at me. Almost quizzical, almost like her head cocked to the side thinking, what the fuck is this kid crying about? And I just, I saw in her eyes that she was, I don't know about embarrassed at me, but she didn't, she did not want to eat part of Daniel. And that, that devastated me. That was, at, probably up till that point in my life, the worst thing that ever happened to me. Or at least I felt the worst thing that ever happened to me. And to make matters worse, our team, we play as a team and individual scores, our team actually won overall, all of us players together. We were called up to sit on the first place podium together, and when they called up our team, um, I, our entire team was supposed to go stand up on the podium there, my dad said something along the lines of, hey, go up there, you deserve this, you're here, you won a couple games, so you did get points for your team, and I just said, no, dad. You know, in that crying voice, no, dad, I can't do this. And uh, <laughs> me and my dad walked out, and... Uh, I, I mean, I continued with chess for my ranger at that home school. I think I was there for another year. Um, me and that girl, nothing ever happened. I mean, I was in fourth grade. What, what happened in fourth grade? But, uh, and that was pretty much the end of, end of my story with Mallory. Um, I mean, chess, chess tournaments down the road, I did do quite a bit better. I ended up going to state a couple years later. But that's uh, Darling Daniel's sad story and how he lost his first love. Hopefully, you guys, uh, if you guys think you want to hear more embarrassing stuff, more about my pastime, more, uh, hopefully funnier stuff next week. I mean, I'm kind of sad right now. I'm sitting here telling the story to you guys, kind of bumming my style. I don't even know if I want to upload this right now. But, um, if you think you want to hear more about me and my crazy life, uh, my 20 years of existence, please like, please comment, uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and I will be sure to, to throw you another one next week. I'll think of something a little more happier. Um, have a great rest of the day, guys. Cheddar, 
you better get it fast Cause in another minute ain't gon' be no middle class Don't you think this shit'll last? Time to monopolize uh -huh. Streets got lots of guys and I know we got the size What I prophesize is the way to start the rise Cross the T's, dot the I's and we will not demise I come through the door, full force to get it yours The eye of the tiger, no, I'm coming with the claws It's my chance to get the finance So I dance with proper goddamn To take it to the next high stand I'm trying to live incredible Get that revenue, thinking of hell you That's your girl, let her through What you better do is try to chase the paper Society, you rape you when your fight falls into nature I've been walked that path before, so I do feel you The early bird to get the worm and drink it with your killer You heard? Make it moves in the tight way Straight gutter from the ghetto to the burbs I build it with this OG Never will I forget the Jews that he told me He said when you hold it, never show your wins In this ghetto, your friends flip on you like Dobermans That bulge in your pocket, I see You better hide While you at it, chuck that medallion inside Forget the microphone, you need the iron we squeeze So you can clap for like Siamese seals Distrust and greed, this once indeed Give it by the man, so now we living by the land And life I tackle With my soul trapped inside this tabernacle The only thing that's missing is the shackles Do what we gotta To enterprise with the dollar Create a different offer for the children of tomorrow Therefore I kick styles To make my cash come to me in big piles Then I'm out like six fouls You heard? Make the moves in the tight Straight gutter from the ghetto to the verb Take it back to the 